examination of the oral cavity. We start with the inspection. We inspect the lips. They should be symmetric, pink, smooth and moist. Sometimes we can see asymmetry, like sagging of the lips due to facial palsy. Lips can be cyanotic. We can see ragards or angular infection, herpes or fungal infections or eczema. Sometimes you can see cyanosis due to hypoxia or cherry red lips. Sometimes vascular malformations and malignant changes on the lips can be visible. After we inspected the uh, lips, we asked the patient to open the mouth in order to be able to examine the inner surface of the lips called oral vestibule. Either we can use a wooden or metal tongue depressor. The inner surface of the uh, lips and buca should be examined systematically. Many pathological findings can be found in the oral vestibule. We should start inferiorly, then go superiorly. We also should check uh, the buccal region. On the buccal, you can find the opening of the parotid gland, the stenon or stenzen's duct. With opposite hand, you should pull sideways the buccal and press on the parotid gland externally in order to, to compress some fluid from the uh, ductal system. In case uh, any discharge visible, such as pus or mucopurant uh, discharge, that can be the sign of a purulent parotitis. Usually the opening of the parotid gland can be found at the level of the second upper molar teeth, opposite uh, to these teeth on the buccal surface. This should be done on both sides. Opposite hand, the buccal should be retracted sideways and the gland should be pressed on in order to check any discharge coming from the orifice of the gland. In case uh, clear saliva comes, that considered normal. After we checked uh, the oral vestibule, we should check the teeth. The teeth uh, sh should be uh, normally aligned, but sometimes they are loose or missing or broken and misaligned. tooth decay or missing can be checked and should be documented. Sometimes uh, there are then different types of dentures or tooth implants. We also should check the gums, leukoplakia, gingivitis, periodontitis or different types of aftosis ulcers are usually present in the gum. Next, the floor of the mouth should be uh, examined. The frenulum lingvae is in the midline. At its base on both sides, the uh, sublingual caruncula is visible. 
the submandible and sublingual glands openings are on the top of the uh, caruncula. Many times uh, rich venous uh, blood supply dilated vessels visible on the floor of the mouth or on the ventral surface of the tongue. It is also very important to inspect the posterior or aspect of the floor of the mouth. This region is called Coffin's Corner. The tongue should be uh, retracted towards the midline in order to check the posterior lateral part of the floor of the mouth. Normally this region by just looking into the mouth or depressing the tongue is not visible but many pathological changes can be present in the coffin's corner area. After we checked the floor of the mouth we should check the tongue. We would, should ask to push the tongue out and retract by this we can assess the uh, movement of the tongue. Normally the tongue should not deviate to either side. In case of uh, deviation of the tip of the tongue it might be the sign of uh, um, hypoglossal nerve palsy. The motoric innervation causes a problem or asymmetry in the uh, tongue movement. Right-sided Hypoglossal palsy would cause the tip of the tongue to deviate to the right side as the normal left sided uh, muscles would push the tip of the tongue towards the non innervated side. After we check this, we should check the surface, the dorsal surface of the tongue. Uh, many uh, pathological signs can be present on the tongue, such as dehydration or fissures, ragads, or migratory glossitis, uh, such as geographic tongue. Tongue can be cyanotic, hairy sometimes. It can be huge, like macroglossia, fungal infections, such as candidiasis, carcinomas, or aftas, or leukoplakias. Next, we should check the heart palate. The heart palate can be highly arched. Sometimes clefts are visible, or after surgery, missing of the heart palate um, gives direct access to the nasal cavity. Sometimes bulging in this region can be a sign of a sinus cancer or aftosis lesions or viral warts can suggest infections. After we examine the oral cavities, we should also check the uh, meso or oral pharynx. The oral pharynx starts from the anterior arch and the base of the tongue. The anterior arch, the posterior arch, the palatine tonsils, the uvula, the base of the tongue, and the posterior and lateral wall of the pharynx are all parts of the meso or oral pharynx. We should also press down the uh, tongue and ask the patient to say the word ah in order to check the movement of the soft palate. The uvula is a pedant in the midline and it should rise symmetrically when the patient says an R. In case of uh, bad innervation of uh, the soft palate muscles or this lack of sensory innervation can cause the uvula to deviate to either side. The motoric innervation is done by the uh, vagus nerve, whereas the sensory uh, innervation is the glossopharyngeal nerve. In case a right-sided glossopharyngeal nerve palsy or a motoric vagus nerve palsy, 
the uvula would uh, deviate to the left side, to the moving side, so just opposite side to the palsy. Here you can see the pharyngeal reflex arch, the gag reflex, which can be triggered by a piece of cotton wool touching the uh, pharyngeal arches or the lateral of all of the uh, oropharynx. Normally the gag reflex is symmetric and the uvula stays in the midline. Next we can uh, do a compression on the tonsils to see if any detritus or pus uh, uh, can be compressed from the tonsils, which might be a sign of chronic or acute infections. Following this, we should also check the posterior and lateral of all of the pharynx as uh, the location of the pharyngeal uh, tumors, the posterior wall pharyngeal tumors are in this region. After we inspected and checked the patient with uh, a tongue depressor, we should also uh, perform a bimanual palpation because sometimes uh, tumors are hidden under normal looking mucosa and for this reason we should do a palpation usually on the floor of the mouse to see for any uh, lesions and also to check whether in the openings of the uh, glands uh, maybe a stone or resistance can be palpable. So bimanual palpation of the oral cavity aims for floor of the mouth, tongue, tongue base, also buca and the oropharyngeal wall. Sometimes the elongated styloid process can be palpated, which can be the cause of uh, a patient's uh, pain when swallowing. Many times, uh, quite large resistant uh, mass lesion can be palpable in the tongue base. Thank you very much for your attention.